Hi, welcome to Rethinking My Thinking. I'm Angela Mackey, and I am so, so glad you stopped by today. I just wanted to share with you some things that have been going on in my life. First thing, I had a wonderful time at Fort Smith Baptist Fellowship's Ladies Luncheon, Fall Into God's Story. It was such a wonderful time. Thank you, ladies, for coming. I hope that you've some of you have stopped by. Hello, good to see you. And I hope that we get to stay connected. And also, I just wanted to share just some follow-up things. First thing, I don't know how many of you remember, but I am in the process of memorizing the whole book of James. And I'm currently in about the middle of James chapter 4. And there are only five chapters of James, so I'm getting there. Slow, slow going. I was hoping to have that done by June, and clearly that hasn't happened. But... It is coming, and it has been such a wonderful process for me. And secondly, I just wanted to give you an update about my word for the year. Now, way back in January, at the very beginning of the year, people were talking about how it's kind of cool to, to pray and see if God is giving you a word for the year, and different people have chosen heart and love and other things. And I felt like God was telling me in 2010 that he was stretching me out and that in 2011, which it is right now, that he's been growing me to fill those stretched out places. And I will tell you, he has been growing me. Anybody of you who know me personally know that I love sports. And you might know that just by reading my blog. I love especially the Kansas Jayhawks and college basketball, but I also love college football, and I love the NFL. Having said that, I've never been a cheerleader, and God has called me to help out with my daughter's cheer, uh, cheerleading, cheer team, cheer squad. I think they call them squads. See, don't know cheerleading. But God has called me in to help, and it's been such a wonderful opportunity and I've been able to encourage their coach, encourage the girls, help discipline the girls so that we can get our practices in. And it's been a wonderful thing. And then God has also called me to do the one thing I've been avoiding, at least being the it person for since my daughters started school. And that is I am the homeroom mom for one of my daughters. And so I am learning. God is stretching me, teaching me different things. And I'm just so excited. He is teaching me to trust him more. And I know that that's, I mean, everyone's like, yeah, trust, trust, trust. That I trust in God, I trust in God, I trust in God. But when hard things come or when stressful times come, are we really trusting in God? Are we seeing him there? Are there things that we can be thankful for in those moments? Things that we can find joy for in those moments? And if you can, as you start tensing up, if you can start listing things you're thankful for, things that you can find joy in, things that you can laugh at, even in the midst of difficult things like going to a football game with nasty, disgusting bathrooms and no soap in the bathrooms and your son touching the disgusting melting candy on the bleachers and having to wash his hands. And there are lots and lots of things to laugh at in life. And ladies and gentlemen and everybody visiting, I just want you to know we need to learn to laugh and find God's joy in all those stressful moments. And as we do that, we are showing God off. We are telling others that we do not have to live a life of stress, a life of grasping and holding on to what we want. We can live, as Ann Voskamp talks about, living with open hands that God can fill with his blessings. And so that's what I want to encourage you with today. I want to encourage you to open your hands to God so that he can fill them with, your, with his blessings. And I want you to look below because below this blog post is the winner of my giveaway of Christy Long's book, God Keeps His Promises. And I can't wait to find out who wins, so check out below. And whoever you are, would you please email me at my contact, but it's Angela at RethinkingMyThinking.com. If you'll email me there, then I can get, make sure that book gets to you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Goodbye.